Hello my happy readers, it's Shed Time Stories with Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a rather loving story to share. The title is I Love You, Monster. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story is Raina Hassan. And the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Dane Eisenbach. Now in this story, we're going to learn how to love and not be afraid. Shall we read and find out? I love you, monster. Oh, monster, dear monster, under my bed. Are you something to fear and dread? Or are you a teacher, a friend and a guide to help me navigate my feelings inside? My head is useful in so many ways, but not when it says I hate you. Go away. Monsters are only scary if we make them so and only fight against us if we try and make them go. Instead, I can join my heart with my hands to remind myself that I understand. I can remember that I have a choice to speak with my heart. My heart has a voice. So, here's what I'll do next time I believe that there's a monster out to get me. With my hands on my heart, I'll take a deep breath. Check in with my body from my feet to my head. With a loving and courageous voice, I will say, I love you, monster. Will you come out and play? I've made us some cookies and midnight tea. Would you like to have a party with me? Or maybe you'd like to talk about the thoughts in our head or wear silly hats and dance on the bed. Maybe you'll teach me to understand my fears or help me to see the value of my tears. However we decide to spend our time, I'll call upon the wisdom inside. And with that special blend of compassion and curiosity, I can learn to love all the monsters that come to visit me. story that was. Sometimes we can be very fearful or afraid of things that we just don't know. But feeling with more kindness and compassion and with more love in our heart, we could maybe help change those feelings 
change those thoughts to being less fearful, less afraid of things. Thinking back to all those beautiful illustrations in the book, I wonder if you could use your imagination and draw the most wonderful monster. I hope you've enjoyed today's Shed Time Story and if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you will be ready for the next book for us to share together. Bye bye!